What's up, everybody? And welcome to another fun, exciting, entertaining, and expansive, amazing <laughs> episode of My Love Our Journey TV Show Review. Yeah, buddy. And today we are going to do a TV show review on Chambers. So it's a Netflix original, guys. You guys know how much we freaking love Netflix originals. That's all we watch. <laughs> Pretty much when we watch them, because uh, they got the best shows. Okay, guys. So really quick, brief summary is a girl gets a heart transplant, and the crazy thing is, is like what happens is once she gets the transplant, she's seeing images from the other girl's life. She's feeling some of the emotions from the other girl, and so they are essentially. Um, kind of merging lives with the girls that have the previous heart. And so a lot of cool trippy things happened. Um, and I would say this is a pretty freaking cool show, I would say. So um, we're gonna go really quickly over three things we independently liked and three things we independently disliked. So starting with Alex, what is the first thing that you liked about the show? Um, it was super intriguing, so it's just like catching. Yes, okay, so I thought it was a, a very, very dope storyline. Um, I thought it was very expansive, uh, maybe not intellectually, but maybe um, uh, pers yeah, imaginative, imaginatively, if that's a word. Imaginatively, that's a word. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> it really kind of expands your think a little bit um, because it's not like it's crazy impos impossible, no. but it's not likely, so it's very cool. I thought it was pretty good acting. So I thought like most of the actors in it was pretty good which isn't in a lot of TV shows, I guess. Yes, right, okay. So, and I would say guys that um, it had a very good mix of like uh, creepiness with intrigue, <laughs> with mystery, storyline. It had a good mix of a few things. So it catches different types of audiences, whether you're into scary movies, whether you're into mystery clue like stuff, mm -hmm. um, you can kind of all kind of get a feel for all that stuff in there. Mm -hmm. um, and last thing I liked is I wanted to keep watching each episode because I wanted to figure out the mystery. Yeah, yeah, okay, I would agree with that. Um, and so my last one, I was gonna say, uh, it's just a really good cast. Uh, they got Uma Thurman in there, um, if you guys know her. Um, and what's so cool, I think, in general about this, mm -hmm. getting cast like this, is you're seeing uh, Netflix originals, like uh, in particular, or just shows on Netflix, they're getting really strong cast members that usually only do movies. Yeah. And now you're getting them in a TV show, like Drew Barrymore in uh, the Santa Clarita Diet, where we did a, a TV show review on that. If you guys wanna click on that, right up here. So um, so yeah, so it's really cool to see these top level actress doing uh, just some basic TV shows that we can stick through a whole season or two of watching them. Yeah. So dope in my opinion. Yeah. Okay guys, so now we are gonna go over the three dislikes that we did not like. So uh, Alex, what is the very first one you would say? It was hard to follow. It was a little hard to follow for me. I was very confused. <laughs> A lot of it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could kind of say that. I think I understood them just, but I, there's parts I still didn't fully understand. Yeah. And guys, this is actually uh, my my main dislike. My main beef with this is kind of based on what she said. Is my <laughs> the very first thing I said was I liked the storyline and how it kind of grew. Um, but this has the opposite effect of the uh, what's the the Outer Banks TV show that we did. So that one started out slow and, and, and got better and better and ended amazing. This show to me was the reverse. So it started really, really good, but just kind of awesome momentum and got weirder and weirder and weirder. And I actually thought it got kind of cheesy and just uh, very unrealistic. So yeah. I was just like, what happened to such a great show, yeah. right? Like they really kind of blew it in my opinion toward the end. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why the last two episodes, everything else was money guys. It was so mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So that's just my two cents on that. What's the next thing that you dislike, babe? It was a little weird. <laughs> so I felt just kind of like, okay, <laughs> a lot of the time. <laughs> yes. The ending, guys, it had such great potential. Yeah. It was so good. Was so and then weird. somehow they just make it the weirdest thing you've ever seen I'm in the last like, one or two episodes. Why? Yeah. It was so freaking good, guys. Yeah. So um, yeah, so for me, guys, it was a super letdown um, to end that way. Um, it actually kind of really sucked. And I was just like, it's just real life right now. <laughs> they brought the girl to that place and started doing that weird chakra stuff. Weird, guys. <laughs> not, not what's up. That was a swing and a miss by far. Oh, by that's far. funny. I don't know if they got bored, if they freaking got lost creativity, they ran out of ideas, and the new guy was just like, I got an idea. And that was up, guys. That's Ooh. funny. The last thing I didn't like is there was just a lot of boring parts to me. Like, for like 20 minutes at all, I was just like bored. Okay, guys, and for me, uh, once again, kind of the same thing. It just got too unrealistic, okay? Yeah. Like, it had a lot of grounding in some real world stuff, and then it just kind of got so abstract and just too far. To me, if they have another season, if it's creative, um, it's gonna get worse and worse unless they completely shift directions and go back toward reality. Yeah. Um, but if not, guys, uh, I will not probably even want to watch the next season. That's it's it let me down that much. So uh, suitable for children, babe. Why not? Uh, demonic forces, sexual assault. Demonic forces. Why can't kids watch demonic forces? <laughs> sexual assault. Lots of weird shit. Uh, suicide. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, guys, this is not suitable for kids. Um, mostly, I'm basing that off nudity and then just um, okay, the um just adult like stuff. Yeah. So let's try to have some serious conversations with your kiddos. <laughs> it might be confusing to them, yeah. and I don't see a kid liking the show. Yeah, anyway. that's true. Um, so 
And final. final yes. Okay. Yes. So the final rating on a scale of one to ten, Alex Rogers. What would you say? Six point seven five. Whoa! Wow. Okay. All right. That's your story. You sticking to it? I'm sticking to it. All right. Cool. I was gonna say seven point nine, guys, and I only say this because the stupid ending. <laughs> God, I think ended. we all understand. Yes. That's just not like the I only guys without the ending, it could have been as high as a nine point seven. They did a good job to me. You know, you want to be left with a good experience. That's like coming to a restaurant and then like you're having a great meal and then the server just spills wine on your favorite outfits, okay? And it's just like, and now you had a bad experience and you don't want to go back. That's kind of what it is, they left a bad time. And then they won't, they didn't offer to pay for the dry cleaning and they're like, it's your problem, see ya. And uh, you know, and just kick you out. So it kind of felt like that to me where it's just like, I don't want to go back to your restaurant, okay? Right? You got me, right? Okay, but. Um, I would say, guys, um, it was a very big disappointment. 7.9 is actually probably pretty generous. You know what? Actually, editing team, scratch out that 7.9. I'm actually going to drop my score to a 7.2, okay? Um, it just swung and missed at the end. But, guys, I will say, honestly, it's not about the ending. It's about the destination and journey. For that reason, I would say go ahead and watch, <laughs> okay, guys? Um, so go ahead and watch this. It's still worth watching. It's just the last episode or two. I'd say it's worth watching, too. Yeah, so the last episode or two just may not, maybe you'll feel the same way as me, maybe not, but either way. So thank you guys so very much for watching another episode of Our Love, Our Journey. TV show sure. reviews. I was waiting for you. <laughs> okay guys, so we really hope that uh, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if this show we would give a thumbs up, it is worth checking out yeah. and it is worth your time. Um, enjoy it, uh, it's a great journey while it lasts until the journey starts to suck. But uh, if you guys have any questions, please let us know in the comments down below. And uh, until then guys, please like, subscribe and share and we cannot wait to see you on the next episode. <laughs> peace.